Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. Today we're going to do chicken liver pate, which is something that is so much better when you do it at home instead of buying it, say, at the supermarket. And it's easier than most people think. You really just need a couple of steps and then some patience for it to cool down in the fridge and that's it. As always, if you want to see the full recipe, then all you need to do is click on the link in the description box below and that will take you to the blog where you'll find lots more recipes. Also remember that if you like this video, you can always put thumbs up to it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. I'm now going to make this chicken liver pate, so if you want to see how it's done, then keep on watching this video. To start, I have here my chicken livers and we have to clean them out because there is a membrane that joins uh, the two lobes of liver. So you want to take that out because then it won't cook very nicely, it will be uh, chewy. So you want to clean that out and make sure that you only have the meat from the liver. I'm going to cook now the chicken livers on this pan. You want to have it on medium to high heat with a bit of olive oil and you want to seal it nicely on both sides. And be careful because they tend to, to jump. You don't want to fill up the whole pan with them because then they're going to start boiling instead of becoming golden and that's going to give them a lot of flavor. So just put as much as you can just to fill the bottom of the pan and that's it. And then you can take them out and put the rest in. We want to have the chicken livers medium because you don't want your pate to turn out grey so you want them to be medium on the inside and if you overcook them too much not only do they turn grey but also they become a bit bitter. Once we've cooked all the chicken livers, you want to add a bit of extra olive oil and cook the onions until they're really, really nice and soft. And then we're going to add a couple of garlic cloves and also cook them. When you're cooking the onions, you want to have them on low heat because if not, they will burn before they get a chance to cook. Use the juices released by the onions to remove all of those little pieces of a liver that have stuck to the pan because there's a lot of flavor in there. Now it's time to add the liquor and I have here some brandy and it's completely safe for kids to eat, to eat because the alcohol will evaporate anyway and all that we will have left behind is the flavor from the brandy. So here you have two choices, you either flambe it but if you're scared of that you just can add it and wait for it to evaporate almost completely and then you're done. Now it's time to blend, so it's as easy as that, this is the last step. So I have here butter that is melted and then cooled down to room temperature because if you put it in here hot, then it's going to cook more our uh, livers. And I'm going to add the livers and also the mix of the onion and garlic that I have here along with the brandy. And I'm just going to blend everything up. Once everything's blended, you want to taste it and add salt and pepper to it. Now it's ready to go into the containers. So I'm going to put them in these containers and top it off with a bit of butter. And that's going to be the thing that seals it off from the oxygen and prevents it from going dark and also uh, 
forming a crust that is not very nice when you want to go and eat it. And just to decorate, I'm going to add a couple of sprigs of thyme on the top. These now need to go in the fridge, I think about one hour at least. And then we're just going to take it out and serve it with toast or whatever you like. I'm going to do a couple of pears that I'm going to poach with a bit of honey and that's it. So for the honey pears, all that I have to do is peel them. I'm going to slice them as well and then cut the slices in half so that they can fit in a small baguette toast. We're going to cook them with a bit of honey and also some water and you want to cook them until they're really nice and soft and also there's nearly no liquid left. That was my chicken liver pate recipe, I really hope you liked it. If you did like it, don't forget to put thumbs up to this video, it makes me really, really happy. Please, if you make this recipe or any other recipe from the vlog, don't forget to send me a picture or tag me on them because I really love to see what you cook. Also, if there's anything savory or sweet that you would like me to teach you how to make, you can leave a comment below. I'm posting recipes every Thursday and Sunday, so if you don't want to miss any of them, then I recommend that you subscribe to my channel. It's free and only one click away. You can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook as Cravings Journal. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.